It's Judy here, and welcome back to episode 15 of Let's Play Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hello there, everyone! Right now on Seychelles, it's 3.47 p.m. on Monday, October 12th, 2020. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today. Oh! Did anyone else catch that quiz show on TV yesterday? How did they come up with all those questions every week, let alone the answers? I, I think the answers are just to the questions, actually. There I go again, prattling on about my personal TV habits. I hope you enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. I agree with that, Isabel. I hope you all have a very lovely day today. Now I am quickly gonna add a little paw print door plate to the door there because I think that looks quite cute. And I do want to do a little bit of decorating in the front yard of my house. So I'm just gonna do something very simple. Just add some little dirt patches, make a little pathway here. Alright, so that's just kind of some sort of an interesting dirt pattern. Something simple to lead it to the brick path in front. I do want to change the front of the house a bit more in the future, but that's not what we're going to focus on for today's episode. No, no, no. You see, today we actually got a shipment in. So as you can see here, all of these fossils were recently shipped to Seychelles for us to display in our new museum. So I do have the area marked out. I'm going to put the museum right here where I currently have all the little Maple Bucks logos marking the spot. So we're gonna have to go to Nook and talk to him about that, but first, we're gonna have to get 50,000 bells to pay for moving the museum there. And in order to do that, we're gonna have to go diving for a little bit. If you wanna know one of the best ways to make bells really fast in Animal Crossing New Horizons, I highly, 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 highly recommend diving. Every time you go diving, one full inventory gets you 50,000 bells. So this is definitely a really good method if you're trying to save up bells for moving buildings. So it looks like there are some bubbles over there. Let's see what we get. If we can swim over there really, really fast. We got a mussel! I really love going diving in this game. Like, I feel like it's so peaceful. It's not like fishing where, you know, you have to wait for it to bite and then press A at the exact right moment. And it's not like bug catching either where you have to line up the net perfectly. You can just kind of float around, try to kind of hover over it. And then you can get a sleeve slug. I mean, look how cute that is. Diving is amazing, honestly. Also, something I just realized, the islands in the horizon, in summer they were green, but now they're more orangey and red. That's pretty cool. It changes for fall. And I think they might be changing seasons even faster than Seychelles is, because Seychelles, a lot of the trees are still green, but those islands look completely red. So that's really cool. And I'm pretty sure the trees are going to change to those really vibrant and beautiful oranges and red colors later in November, so that's going to be really fun to see. I really love seeing how the seasons slowly change in Animal Crossing. It's also really great if you live somewhere where it doesn't really get that cold, or maybe it's cold all year round, you can still experience some of the other seasons that you wouldn't get to experience usually. Let's see what's over here. It looks like there's a few more little bubbles. Oh my goodness, a sea star! Maybe it'll give me an autograph. Oh my goodness, it's a famous sea star. Patrick star. This one's a little bit faster. Maybe... Oh, it's a crab. A Gazami crab. Looks like there's a few more bubbles here. A scallop! Oh my goodness, Pascal! Yes! Yes! I love him so much. Hey man, about that scallop of yours. Can I have it? Of course you can, Pascal. Whoa! Thanks for your generosity, man. I love him, he's amazing. Although, like, I don't get- how did he get that? Like, he just dove under- did he, like, grab it from our pockets by going underwater? Like, we could have just handed it to you. There was no need to go under- under the table there. Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you. The deep kind, yes, lay it on me. Feel this. Folks are always seeing in clouds what they want to see. But someday, they're gonna miss seeing the storm. Consider yourself truthed. Yep, today is a good day. Oh my goodness, I love that. I love how he like swims away with the scallop too, it's so cute. Now we will return to our prior mission of collecting some more of these sea creatures here. A lot of mussels today. Oh my goodness, another mussel. A baloney. Oh, it's an oyster. 
An oyster. Another mussel. Are mussels more common in October? Is everything else less common? What is happening at this point? Some acorn barnacles? A few inches later. Shellfish. Do do do. Shellfish. Do do do. <gasps> sea star. While I'm swimming here, I'm also trying to like peek at the sand of my beaches to see if I can find the bottle. It doesn't look like I've found it so far, but I'm just gonna keep luring around the shore. Oh, a ribbon eel! Oh wait, no, that's different. A spotted garden eel. I love the detail on its scales. Alright, we... Oh wait, Label's in town. Oh, we meet again. You know, there's still so much to learn about design here on Seychelles. In fact, I wonder if you might help me with a little style exercise. Oh, okay, I think I know. So this is similar to Gracie Grace's fashion checks from the old game. So I think she'll give us a theme and we have to dress up like that. Okay, that's really cool. I completely forgot that Label visits sometimes. You'll have to model it for me, of course, but I'll give you a gift for your trouble. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Let's get to it. What is our theme? A party outfit. Say you and your best friend were going to a fancy three. Just imagine the fabulous clothes you'd wear. I'll give you some party clothing so you have an idea of the look I'm going for. Okay, thank you. It's a princess tunic. All you have to do is keep this piece in mind as you put together a party outfit. If you're not sure what to do, just wear something that would go well with it. If you coordinate everything from head to toe, that would be so fab. Well, that's what they say in the fashion business anyways. I'll be waiting right here, so come back anytime. Okay, that's really cool. I wonder if we'll ever get like another upgrade to Nook's Cranny and then possibly Gracie Grace will return. Gracie Grace is another NPC that I feel like would be nice to have back. So first, I'm going to go into Nook's Cranny and see if I can sell the Nook- the Nook? No, I don't- I don't want to know. First, I'm going to go into Nook's Cranny and see if I can sell the sea creatures, and then we're going to get an outfit ready for label. Okay, so I want to sell. What are you offering? I am offering all of these lovely little sea creatures. Oh, and Pascal gave us a mermaid chair recipe. That's awesome. That was about half the inventory, and we already got 22,700 bells. Like, diving is so good. And also, I see this peach box. I want that, so I'm gonna buy that too. A cardboard box. Yes, thank you. And then I'm also going to get this, because this is adorable. A spooky lantern set. Five. Oh, that's expensive. Okay, we're gonna have to do a bit more diving. But that's so cute. I can't not get it. And we also have to get our daily candy, of course. 120 bells. Absolutely. Okay, and then I think that should be good. So... We're still 10,000 bells short. I'm gonna buy another box, which is gonna make it worse, but it's only 120 bells, it's fine. See, it's we're still only 10,000 off. Okay, let's go get the last 10,000 and also a party outfit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the wetsuit and let me learn this recipe really quick. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and run back to my house and see if we can put together a little outfit for label. Another really cool Easter egg in New Horizons is in previous games when she wasn't living with her sisters, her name was LaBelle. But as her relationship with her sisters gets better, she's changing her name back to Label. So Sable, Mabel, and Label. That's really cute. I love the amount of detail in the Able Sisters storyline. I think it's really cool. And the Able Sisters also have a little bit of history with Tom Nook too. So I don't know, just really cool how everything's connected like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get changed and let's see what the prince outfit looks like. Princess tunic. Oh my goodness. It kind of looks- it has a little cape on it. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure what goes with that though. Is this a party outfit? I'm not sure what the theme of this party is, but I guess we can work with it. So we have the little princess tunic. Definitely gonna need some pants. I don't know, what pants do you wear to a party? But is that a party skirt or like something more fancy like that? A lemon skirt? <laughs> that definitely does not match. I don't know, I kind of feel like that matches the best with the cape at least. But I don't know if that's like party, you know? Okay, are you ready for the final reveal? Look at this beauty. I mean, if Label doesn't love this outfit, I don't think there's any outfit she could love. Starting at the feet, we have these beautiful leopard pumps and then these ombre leggings which just looks so lovely. We have the pink and the orange mixing in together. And then above that, we also have these beautiful purple shorts. And then if we scroll up a bit, we can also see this lovely shirt that she provided us with, with the little cape and everything looking so, so beautiful. And on top, we just really seal the look with these sunglasses, with the little candles on them, and the flower boppers. I mean, this, this is the ideal look for whatever party you're going to. So let's go ahead and see what Label thinks about this. 
I remember the outfits he had to put on for Gracie Grace and New Leaf. They'd all be like from the same category of item, but they looked so crazy together. Like most of the time your outfit made literally no sense and that's when she would give you a prize. So that's kind of the thought process I'm going here is like, if I put on an outfit that makes absolutely no sense, maybe Label will still like it. So let's see. I'm kind of scared though. This, I don't know how she'll react to this. I see you've changed clothes. Can I take a look at it? I don't know. I guess so, I guess so. Oh good, let's see it then. Ah, uh, hmm, I see. This is so judgmental. Wonderful! Oh, that's it exactly? Your combination of clothing radiates that perfect party look. No, it doesn't. There's so much I can learn from your sense of style. What? That actually worked? I want to give you something to show you how much I appreciate your help. Have you heard of Taylor's tickets? You can take a tailor ticket to the tailor shop and exchange it for an item that costs 3,000 bells or less. Oh my goodness. You're gonna send a gift in the mail? Well, thank you. Oh my goodness, and please take this too. You made it with your own paws. I cannot believe that worked. Some label- Oh no, 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 this is her old brand, Labelle Socks. I hope you like the look. It's a design from your fashion label. I mean, my label is new, so it's not famous yet. It's called Labelle. Okay, that's interesting. Oh yeah, I used to go by that name when I first set out. So she changed her name. But these days I'm using my real name label, while Label lives on in my, um, fashion label. Uh, yeah, no, that's not too confusing. I like that. It alludes to the previous games. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you for being so helpful. Wow. I... <laughs> Not gonna lie, I don't, I don't see it. All right, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is change out of this outfit because no. Well, I do want to see what her socks look like. So let's see. Labelle socks. Those are cute. I like them. They're purple. Do they have like, I think they have like little details on them too, on the ankles. They look cute. But yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is change out of this outfit. As beautiful as it is, I think I just... I don't know, I might just have like a slightly different fashion taste than label. I, you know, <laughs> maybe I just don't go to parties enough. That must be it. All right, so let's go ahead and get changed really quick. And I'm just gonna put on the outfit I was wearing before. <laughs> All right, I think this is the outfit we were wearing before. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on and head back into town. All right, so our next course of action is gonna be getting that last 10,000 bells. So I guess to do that, I'm just gonna go diving for a little bit longer. Alright, so I got the last 10,000 bells, and now we have exactly 50,027 bells. So let's see if we can ask Tom Nook if we can relocate the museum. Ah, Judy. Hello, hello. This is a construction consultation counter. How can I help you, hmm? Um, I would actually like to talk about infrastructure. Let's chat. There's a number of things we can discuss, but what did you have in mind? I would like some layout changes. Excellent. And which building did you want to move? The museum. Ah, the museum. Moving it will run you 50,000 bells. That's not a painful sentence at all. So do you want to suggest moving it? Um, yeah, I do. I definitely do want to move it. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see what Blathers thinks of the idea then. Wait one moment while I contact him. So Blathers, Judy's suggestion to move the museum. What do you think about it? Why, yes, of course I'm on board. Indeed, go forth and find us a place fitting for scientific wonder. All right then, sounds great. You just leave the rest to me and our friend Judy. All right, so let's go ahead and find a beautiful spot for the museum. Well, Judy, since the matter of moving is now settled, I'll take the construction fee. 27 bells. That just dropped to 20, that is painful. Oh my goodness, the double digits. Next up, I'd like you to pick out the new location. All right, I do, at least I know what spot I'm taking it to, but oh my goodness, look at that. That is so sad. I can't even take bells out because I don't have enough in my wallet. This is the price you pay. The price you pay to have a beautiful town. Oh my goodness, they're waving at each other. That's so cute. And Apple's like playing airplane. Oh, that's- Oh, and Judy's here too. Oh my goodness, I love- <gasps> Wait, they're waving too. Oh my goodness, everyone's so cute. Wait, did she just wave at Apple too? Oh my goodness. I love that. I love them. I just- I love everything. Okay, now let's go- Let's go up here, and this is where we're gonna put the new museum. So I'm just gonna stand right in the center, Everything has already been measured. All we have to do is place it in that square there. And it fits too. All right, so let's imagine it just for a moment, just to really let it sink in. There it is. That is going to be the new home. Uh, yes, that is a good spot. And I do have the T-Rex fossils there too, so it kind of looks like the dinosaur is going through it. I thought that would be pretty cool too. And then I put a vending machine in front of the fossil so you can't see like the pole, so it looks more like an actual T-Rex. And also behind this bush, there's this little spot here where you can actually stand. 
so that you can like play with the fossils. Since the T-Rex model is one of the ones that moves, I thought, why not let you be able to play with it? I feel like it's so much fun to do this. You know, it's so entertaining, I couldn't possibly not do that. So yeah, that is where the new museum is gonna go. And then I just have to get another vending machine and bench to put on this side, or maybe I'll make it asymmetrical. No, nah, no. Nah. We all know I can't do that, no. Um, but yeah, I'll find another vending machine and bench to make it symmetrical. And then in front of the museum here, I'm planning on making sort of like a botanical garden national park with like all of the fossils. So like a mini Jurassic Park slash botanical garden, which I think is going to be pretty cool. And then if we climb over the land on this side, this is where we have the Niagara Falls area. And I did add a little spooky arch to it when you walk in, just to kind of slowly start to add some more Halloween decorations, get more in the Halloween mood. And you can see that our flower shop is currently selling pumpkins as well. So another little detail there. And we do have to pick our pumpkins today. So let's go ahead and do that. And let me also get my watering can because I always feel like I'm going to forget to water them. That's like my worst fear. I forgot to water one of them actually before. I have one like down here that's like on their own. And now it's just two pumpkins. But also I think that's really cute how there's like different sizes of pumpkins. Like you can get plants with one pumpkin, plants with two pumpkins, plants with three pumpkins. I just, I think it's all, all the details. I love all of them. So let's go ahead and grab all of these little pumpkins. And I did unlock the recipe for making jack-o'-lanterns yesterday. So you can see my first one is right there. And I'm really excited about that too, because I feel like putting jack-o'-lanterns everywhere is just, it's just a beautiful thing, you know, it's a beautiful action. I also, in my store, I had like the stack of jack-o'-lanterns. So I put it like right over here at the entrance of the farm area. And also another new area is down here where my river comes into town. I didn't want to just take the river like going through like the orchard and everything I built back there. So instead of doing that, I made it into a little duck pond. And if you've ever been like, I know some parking lots, most of the time where I've seen this has been in Florida, but like some parking lots will have like little ponds with fountains in the center. So I was kind of inspired by that to like put a little shell fountain in the middle there. And it's like just this little duck pond where you can sit on the bench under the shade of the tree, feed the ducks, and have a lovely time after you're done like visiting the market area here. And then I did also make a little corn farm, which I think turned out pretty cute. There's a silo here with some of the corn growing. And then on the other side, I made a little cabbage patch. And I was going to customize the mum cushions to make them white so they look more like lettuce. But I feel like leaving them yellow also helps them match the beehive. And it almost looks like a pollination area. So I'm happy with that. And then I have a couple little stones down here. I want to change this area, you know, continue expanding on it. But the museum is here and there's a house here and there's all this stuff blocking the beach so i'm gonna try to move some of that stuff out first which is also why i wanted to move the museum today but overall i'm really happy with the progress i'm making on this area so far so let me see what was i gonna do oh yeah i was busy collecting the pumpkins i got completely sidetracked for a second there all right so let's continue <gasps> no 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 i did not mean to do that there you go all right as i was saying um, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna continue picking all of the little pumpkins, and I just remembered we also haven't found our message in a bottle for the day yet, so I have to remember that too. I should make a list when I play in the morning, like everything I have to do today. But yeah, let's start here and let's just water all of our little pumpkin friends so we can get some new ones in a few days. Oh my goodness, and monarch butterflies are in season now too. Monarch butterflies are my favorite type of butterfly in real life, so I'm really excited to have them in Animal Crossing. Alright, so now that we've collected all of our little pumpkins for the day, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find our message in a bottle. I'm not sure where it's hiding. I didn't see it on the other beach while I was swimming, so I'm assuming that it's on this side, and we can also see if any of our villagers are crafting anything. Oh my goodness! I thought I bumped into her and she fell for a second. She was just stretching. I felt so bad. I was like, wait, what? I did not mean to do that. Oh my goodness. Are you okay? Nice running into you. How are you, B? I try to be a good listener. You can talk to me anytime. You're so sweet. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I don't think I bumped into her, but it looked really funny. And oh my goodness, a present. And also, here's a little update. I don't know if you remember this from the past, but I did start to actually carry a slingshot with me. So that's, that's another improvement I've made in my gameplay recently. So let's see what's in this present here. A tree's bounty lamp. 
Oh my goodness, that's actually a really cool recipe though. It's like a little tomato plant. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, and here, there's a recipe in a bottle. Let's see what it says. To the lucky duck who picks this up. I set my mind to making up the next big thing in DIY recipes. And lo and behold, I'd had this genius idea. My great idea is in this bottle here. Take a chance on it, you'll see. Take a chance and try it out. Your clever pal Groucho. I love the acorn stationery. It's really cute. Oh my goodness, a rose wreath. That sounds really pretty. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my goodness, it is really pretty. It has like three little roses on it. I'm also going to show you the tree's bounty DIY. The little lamp. It's this one. Isn't it cute? It looks like a little tomato plant. I love it. Oh, and Marshall is crafting, so let's go ahead and see what he's busy making. Sorry, I was just doing a little DIY. I was in the zone, you know? What were you making? Oh my goodness, a spooky table! The recipe came to me in a dream. Um, I'd love to hear more about the dream and the spooky table. You forgot your dream? Oh, Marshall! You, you do have the recipe written down. Okay, well thank you for the recipe. I really want to know what dream you were having about tables though. I feel like that might be an interesting story. So let's go ahead and learn this recipe really quick. Let me see what it looks like. If we go into our recipes here... Oh, that's so cool! It's like a giant pumpkin stump. Alright, and I think that that might be all of our goals for today, so... Next week, we'll start making the botanical garden area of the museum. We'll also start to add in some of the staircases and the ramps just to finally finalize everything so you don't have to use a ladder to get up and down. After that, we might start finishing up on our city skyline here. We might even do that on stream, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, that is all for today's episode. Thanks. But yeah, that is all for today's episode. That's I cannot speak. But yeah, that is all for today's episode. So why? Why can't I say so? Is so such a hard word. So, S O so, 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 so. But yeah, that is all for today's episode. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, lovely rest of your week, lovely rest of your month, just a lovely time in general. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, everybody.